Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope you all had an awesome weekend. I know I worked my hands to the bone, almost, on our garden, uh, hence not uploading any videos, so I apologize about that. And today's a bit of a fail as well, if I'm honest. Um, I've just walked four and a half to five kilometers here. I wanted to take you inside, uh, 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 that's right, Lekava Castle. And unfortunately, it's closed. It was open on the weekend, so I just stupidly assumed it was open. Walked all the way here, didn't even check if it was open, and it turn, turns out it's closed. So I'm not going to give you a tour of the closed gate, and what's the point, you know? I'll tell you a little bit about it, though, because I found this out a couple days ago, which I think is amazing. That place on that cliff was bu built in the th 1300s, early 1300s, and that's only when it was recorded. So it's probably a lot earlier than that, which means it's over 700 years old. Which is incredible. How did, how did they do that back then? 700 years ago and they put that thing up there. Now I know it was built as a lookout point to protect the route over the, the I think it's the Var River which is at the bottom there and when we do eventually go up there on the weekend I'll give you an awesome like you can see the actual views from there and why it is such an awesome vantage point. It's, it's an incredible building I, I can't believe it's like literally right on my doorstep. Um, and yeah, also what I wanted to do is thank everyone today. I'm up at nearly 50 subscribers already, which in the grand scheme of things and compared to some other channels is nothing. But to me, it means the world. So I just want to thank you guys so much, especially because like this is really new to me. It's really awkward for me still. I'm hoping to improve. I hope you can see that I'm trying to improve and I will only get better. So I want to thank you so much to anybody who's subscribed, anybody who's liked and anybody who's left a comment. Thank you so much. Um, like I say, that's been a bit of a fail today, so what we're going to do is I'm going to head back now, which should probably take me about half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe a bit longer, because it is a hell of a walk. Um, I do have them long legs, so I do, I do cover ground pretty quickly. I'm going to get home, I'll film a bit on the way, hopefully the high touches are still um, visible. Some clouds, as you can see, have rolled in, and it was actually raining earlier, which sort of caught me off guard. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head back, and I'm going to show you the views and then I'm going to give you a tour of our back garden show you all the work I've done in the garden this weekend I know it might be a pretty boring video but this is just a normal day in what I get up to um, like I say this is closed a lot of the things are still closed around here because it's still like out of season so I'm struggling a bit to find places that are open I don't want to take you guys to all the pubs and um, like drinking and stuff because that's not really my scene I'm not a big drinker I had a couple beers yesterday saying that I might stop and have a beer on the way back because um, let's just check I'll tell you how many how far I've walked today so far and it's only just hit 12 o'clock uh, I broke my fingerprint scan on my phone on the weekend which really sucks because now yeah I've done 6.34 kilometers today I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's only it's only just gone 12 o'clock so that's a fair old walk considering I'm getting a bit uh, a bit on in age but yeah, that there is Ruzhenbarok. Behind me, where I'm heading now, that's Leskova. And that castle, I don't know if you can see it, there is amazing. It's like, I love history. And the more I learn about Slovak history, it just amazes me. There's a fun fact, there's, there's 120 or more castles or manor houses still standing in Slovakia. And when you consider Slovakia's size, that is amazing and that's what's still standing how many castles were here so if you love your history and you love your your like just history and the views slovakia is awesome i mean and it's pretty neglected as far as history goes it really frustrates me when i hear people saying that slovaks don't have a lot of history or traditions they've got more traditions than i've ever seen like on easter there's easter traditions on saturday or sunday they did the may day tradition where they put that big tree up in the village that's freaking awesome, you know. There's so many celebrations, and I think everyone else should flip and build some new traditions as well, just to fit around. Life is a celebration. Celebrate things, enjoy things, and be proud of your heritage. And Slovakians are certainly proud, and they they bloody well should be. Right, I'm gonna stop waffling now. I'm gonna head back. I'm not looking forward to the walk. If there was cars here, I'd probably hitchhike home. But anyway, I'm gonna walk back, and uh, I'll show you some of the awesome views. I'll get on top of that hill there, come back this way so you can see the castle a bit better. And then I'll head home and hopefully we can see the high touches today. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. As you can see, I've made it to the, the top of the hill. I'm pretty poked. But that's the castle. 
absolutely incredible. I can't believe, like, it's just amazing. I mean, that's a town down there. When you consider how high up we are, excuse me, I'm out of breath. It's just amazing. Beautiful day. Clouds make it a little bit ominous, don't they? <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. Alright guys, so I'm uh, maybe halfway. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty tired. I had to wait for the... I don't know if you can see it in the background. There's a uh, tractor spreading muck there. So I had to wait for him to unleash the demon. Otherwise I would have got sprayed full of not so greatness. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you. Home is there. Oh, there, literally there where my hand is, I can see our house. Now, I could just cut across, and it looks pretty simple, but it's not, because it drops, goes up, and drops again. I've got to stick to the road. As much as I like going off the beaten track, you know. Got to stick to the road. Play by the rules, that's a farmer's land there, and God knows if he's got any dodgy bulls. I got chased by a bull when I was younger, and <laughs> it wasn't very fun. Unfortunately, the hot touchers are there. And uh, we can't see them, which sucks because I really wanted to see them. I love seeing those mountains. I get to see them pretty much every day from home, but while there's still snow on them, you know, it's pretty awesome to see. As you can see, the castle is there. I've come down, round, up, 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 round, round, round. It's pretty far, it doesn't look very far. I mean, even for me, I've just been there. I think, oh, that's not too bad, but it is a, it's a fair old way. I'll give you a total kilometer count when I get home. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I haven't eaten yet today. I've had an apple and I think, yeah, I had an apple. I didn't eat today. I'm not a big morning eater, so I'll see what happens when I get home. I might have some lunch. I might sneak away to the shop and grab a beer. Um, I think after a walk like that, one deserves a beer. But yeah, all around, it's just a beautiful day. I'm loving it. Um, I don't really want to go home, but man needs to eat. I'm feeling pretty hungry. Um, my children will be home now. I want to see them. I've got to have a chat with the daughter about uh, Mark's. She did a maths test today, didn't do too great. So <laughs> I've got to have a chat with her. And uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully the day stays good. I'm, I'm hoping for a little bit of rain this afternoon so I don't have to water the garden because I'm having to do it by hand at the moment um, until we get our well drilled. We've got a well, but it's a hand crank one in the front garden and I just want a proper well dug in the back with a pump so I can irrigate the garden. I think it, irrigate? Water the garden, you know what I mean. But yeah, I'll turn you back on when I get maybe home I don't know if I'll turn you back on again all the good views are pretty much not done now I mean you can still see there's amazingness all around me but I'm having to cross this new motorway they're building now and as soon as I cross that I'm on a really I mean the road I'm on now is a dirt road but it's not dusty that road because it's used all day and pretty much into the night is just a dust cloud and I don't really want to be filled with what's the point no one wants to see that I don't want to see that to be honest with you I can't wait till they finished but who knows when that'll be the touches are starting to peak out what I might do is if it clears up a bit this afternoon I might get on top of that hill there he says <laughs> it's a long old walk I might get on top of the hills where we live and film the sun setting by the, those mountains because I'll tell you what that is a view and a half it goes all pink and it's like beautiful right I'm going to shut up and turn you off and uh, I'll turn you back on when we get to the garden and I'll give you a quick tour around I might sneak and get a beer first from the shop I'll film a bit of the shop I don't know how happy they'll be the lady who works here is pretty grumpy, to be honest. She's not nasty or anything. She's just <laughs> not very friendly in comparison to everyone else. So I don't want to wind anyone up. I have to go there every day. Um, I'll see. I'll see what she says. I'll film and if she tells me off, she tells me off. I'll turn it off. I mean, I'll listen to her. But if she doesn't say anything, I'll film it. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Right, and that's probably as clear as it's going to get for today from here. 
Can't really see much of them, unfortunately. I think I'm going to take a drive with the kids, maybe, if they want to go and go and have a look. If not, I might just go. I want to go to the Mara today as well to have a walk around. It's a beautiful day for it. Maybe I'll have a swim. Climb out with two belly buttons. <laughs> but yeah, look at this view. Anyone wants to ever buy me a house, that's the one I want there, in the middle of nowhere. Rear some animals, live a simple life, that's all I want. It'll come, it'll come. But yeah, look at this. And home is getting closer. It's not that close yet. I don't see a bull on this field, so I'm tempted to cross it, but no, my luck, he's probably sleeping in the bushes somewhere and he's going to jump out and chase me. When I lived on a farm in South Africa, we had a bull called Rambo and uh, yeah, he chased me and it was freaking terrifying. <laughs> they big old bastards. But yeah, look, ah, oh, so such a shame. Can't see more of them today. But this is where I live, everyone, just around here. And I'm honestly blessed to call Slovakia home, I think. I'm so, I feel so privileged. And to be honest, it's been a long time since I've felt at home anywhere. And I do honestly feel at home here. So, right, I've got a tractor coming, so I've got to go. He's on the road behind me. I'm back at my, well, I'm in Liskova now. I'm just going to stop at the local sports bar and have a beer. I'm tired. And then I'm going to go home and have some lunch. Don't tell the wife. I'll see what beer they've got here, if they even open, I hope they open, and then uh, I'll turn you back on. Alright guys, they wouldn't, well, I didn't really film in there, there's a lot of lorry drivers and stuff who are having their afternoon lunch. So, I got a bottle of Krushovica, it's the only beer they had that was cold in the fridge in a bottle. I'm going to have this quickly, the rain is coming, I got back just in time I think. Excuse me for the camera angle, you're on the phone again. Um, I'm going to have a quick beer, head home, have some lunch. Kiss the missus and the kids hello, and then uh, I will give you a tour of the garden if it's not pouring down. If it's pouring down, I'll have to either wait to stop or do it tomorrow. But cheers guys, this is the first sip. I can't wait. I've, I deserve this. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, so good. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm finally home. I've just had some food. Uh, my goose is making a bit of a noise. I'm not going to do a garden tour, I don't think, today because the neighbor's cutting the grass, as you do on a Monday afternoon. Um, seems like he doesn't work during the summer, but oh well. So I'm going to just um, probably call it a day today with the video, and then tomorrow uh, I'm going to go to a village up the road, go to a pub and have some food, have a beer, just show you what an awesome little village it is. I can't remember the name off the top of my head right now. I'm so tired. All in all, I've walked 12, 12.3 kilometers or something silly today, uh, which is quite a lot of walking, to be honest with you, especially especially because I'm getting old now, I think. I feel old anyway. But yeah, so I'm gonna call that one a day. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Love you, have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.